Ramon Lull, T O S F, Catalan, R Mo U, C. 1232 C. 1315, Anglicized Raymond Lully, Raymond Lull, in Latin Raymundus or Raymundus Lullus or Lullius, was a philosopher, logician, Franciscan tertiary, and writer from the Kingdom of Majorca. He is credited with writing the first major work of Catalan literature. Recently surfaced manuscripts show his work to have predated by several centuries prominent work on elections theory. He is also considered a pioneer of computation theory, especially given his influence on Leibniz. Topic. Saint or heretic Since his first writings, there has been confusion in the Church regarding whether he was a saint or a heretic. Ramon Lull has had a sanctification process open in the Vatican since the times of Philip II. King Philip was one of the impulsors of this process. The Spanish king was extremely fond of his work and used parts of it in the creation of the Monasterio del Escorial. Prior to that, Lull was considered a heretic by most, and the debate regarding both King Philip II and him continued in Rome long afterwards. Lull's works were prohibited by the Spanish Inquisition under the same King Philip, for he considered that non-initiates could not understand them. Copies of the works were safely stored in the library of El Escorial and were consulted by Spanish scholars, mostly sympathetic to Lull's views. Within the Franciscan order he is honored as a martyr. He was beatified in 1847 by Pope Pius IX. His feast day was assigned to 30 June and is celebrated by the Third Order of St. Francis. Biography <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Early life and family Lull was born into a wealthy family in Palma, the capital of the newly formed Kingdom of Majorca. James I of Aragon founded Majorca to integrate the recently conquered territories of the Balearic Islands now part of Spain into the Crown of Aragon. Lull's parents had come from Catalonia as part of the effort to colonize the formerly Almohad-ruled island. As the island had been conquered militarily, the Muslim population who had not been able to flee the conquering Christians had been enslaved, even though they still constituted a significant portion of the island's population. In 1257, he married Blanca Picani, with whom he had two children, Dominic and Magdalena. Although he formed a family, he lived what he would later call the licentious and wasteful life of a troubadour. Lull served as tutor to James II of Aragon, and later became seneschal the administrative head of the royal household to the future King James II of Majorca, a relative of his wife. Topic. Religious calling In 1263 Lull experienced a religious epiphany in the form of a series of visions. He narrates the event in his autobiography Vita Coitania, Daily Life. Ramon, while still a young man and seneschal to the king of Majorca, was very given to composing worthless songs and poems and to doing other licentious things. One night he was sitting beside his bed, about to compose and write in his vulgar tongue a song to a lady whom he loved with a foolish love, and as he began to write this song, he looked to his right and saw our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, as if suspended in mid-air. The vision came to him five times in all, leading him to leave his family, position, and belongings in order to pursue a life in the service of God. Specifically, he realized three intentions, to die in the service of God while converting Muslims to Christianity, to see to the founding of religious institutions that would teach foreign languages, and to write a book on how to overcome someone's objections to being converted. Following his epiphany Lull became a Franciscan tertiary a member of the Third Order of St. Francis, taking inspiration from St. Francis of Assisi. After a short pilgrimage he returned to Majorca, where he purchased a Muslim slave from whom he wanted to learn Arabic. For the next nine years, until 1274, he engaged in study and contemplation in relative solitude. He read extensively in both Latin and Arabic, learning both Christian and Muslim theological and philosophical thought. Between 1271 and 1274 he wrote his first works, a compendium of the Muslim thinker Al-Ghazali's logic and the Libra de Contemplatio en Deu book on the contemplation of God, a lengthy guide to finding truth through contemplation. In 1274, while staying at a hermitage on Puig de Ronda, the form of the great book he was to write was finally given to him through divine revelation, a complex system that he named his art, which would become the motivation behind most of his life's efforts. 
Topic: <laughs> Missionary work and education. Lull urged the study of Arabic and other then insufficiently studied languages in Europe, along with most of his works, to convert Muslims and schismatic Christians. He traveled through Europe to meet with popes, kings, and princes, trying to establish special colleges to prepare future missionaries. In 1285, he embarked on his first mission to North Africa but was expelled from Tunis. Lowell traveled to Tunis a second time in about 1304, and wrote numerous letters to the King of Tunis, but little else is known about this part of his life. In the early 14th century, Lowell again visited North Africa. He returned in 1308, reporting that the conversion of Muslims should be achieved through prayer, not through military force. He finally achieved his goal of linguistic education at major universities in 1311 when the Council of Vienne ordered the creation of chairs of Hebrew, Arabic and Chaldean Aramaic at the universities of Bologna, Oxford, Paris, and Salamanca as well as at the papal court. Lull and the Immaculate Conception Following the favorable attitude of some Franciscan theologians to this truth, Lowell's position on this subject was of great importance because it paved the way for the doctrine of Duns Scotus, whom he met in 1297, after which he was given the nickname Dr. Illuminatus, even if it seems that he had not direct influence on him. Lull is the first author to use the expression, "...immaculate conception," to designate the Virgin's exemption from original sin. He appears to have been the first to teach this doctrine publicly at the University of Paris. To explain this Marian privilege, he resorts to three arguments. 1. The Son of God could not become incarnate in a mother who was stained by sin in any way. God and sin cannot be united in the one and same object. Thus the Blessed Virgin Mary did not contract original sin, rather she was sanctified in the instant in which the seed from which she was formed was detached from her parents. 2. There had to be a certain likeness between the son's generation without sin and the generation of his mother. The Blessed Virgin Mary should have been conceived without sin, so that her conception and that of her son might have a like nature. 3. The second creation, that is the redemption, which began with Christ and Mary, had to happen under the sign of the most total purity, as was the case with the first creation. Just as Adam and Eve remained in innocence until the original sin, so at the beginning of the new creation, when the Blessed Virgin Mary and her Son came into existence, it was fitting that the man and the woman should be found in a state of innocence simpliciter, in an absolute way, without interruption, from the beginning until the end. Should the opposite have been the case, the new creation could not have begun. It is clear, however, that it did have a beginning, and therefore the Blessed Virgin was conceived without original sin. In a sermon entitled The Fruit of Mary's Womb, Lowell states that The blessed fruit of Our Lady's womb is Jesus Christ, who is true God and true man. He is God the Son, and He is man, the Son of Our Lady. The man, her Son, is the blessed fruit because He is God the Son, for it is true that the goodness of the Son who is God and the goodness of the Son who is man are joined together and united in one person, who is Jesus Christ. And the goodness of the man, Mary's Son, is an instrument of the Son, who is God. Topic. Death In 1314, at the age of 82, Lowell travelled again to North Africa where he was stoned by an angry crowd of Muslims in the city of Bougie. Genoese merchants took him back to Majorca, where he died at home in Palma the following year. Though the traditional date of his death has been 29 June 1315, his last documents, which date from December 1315, and recent research point to the first quarter of 1316 as the most probable death date, it can be documented that Lull was buried at the Church of St. Francis in Majorca by March 1316. Ryber states that the circumstances of his death remain a mystery. Zwemer, a Protestant missionary and academic, accepted the story of martyrdom, as did an article in the Catholic Encyclopedia published in 1911 see links in the references section. Bonner gives as a reason for Lull's journey to Tunis the information that its ruler was interested in Christianity—false information given to the kings of Sicily and Aragon and relayed to Lull. Topic. Literature and other works Lowell was extremely prolific, writing a total of more than 250 works in Catalan, Latin, and Arabic, and often translating from one language to the others. 
While almost all of his writings after the revelation on Mount Rhonda connect to his art in some way, he wrote on diverse subjects in a variety of styles and genres. The romantic novel Blancarna is widely considered the first major work of literature written in Catalan, and possibly the first European novel. Topic. Lowell's art Ars Magna. His first elucidation of the art was in Art Abrujada d'Atrobar Veritat, the abbreviated Art of Finding Truth, in 1290. After spending some time teaching in France and being disappointed by the poor reception of his art among students, he decided to revise it. It is this revised version that he became known for. It is most clearly presented in his Ars Generalis Ultima or Ars Magna, the ultimate general art, or the great art, published in 1305. The art operated by combining religious and philosophical attributes selected from a number of lists. It is believed that Lull's inspiration for the Ars Magna came from observing Arab astrologers use a device called a zayarja. The art was intended as a debating tool for winning Muslims to the Christian faith through logic and reason. Through his detailed analytical efforts, Lull built an in-depth theosophic reference by which a reader could enter any argument or question necessarily reduced to Christian beliefs, which Lull identified as being held in common with other monotheistic religions. The reader then used visual aids and a book of charts to combine various ideas, generating statements which came together to form an answer. Topic. Mechanical aspect One of the most significant changes between the original and the second version of the art was in the visuals used. The early version used 16 figures presented as complex, complementary trees, while the system of the Ars Magna featured only four, including one which combined the other three. This figure, a Lulian circle, took the form of a paper machine operated by rotating concentrically arranged circles to combine his symbolic alphabet, which was repeated on each level. These combinations were said to show all possible truth about the subject of inquiry. Lull based this notion on the idea that there were a limited number of basic, undeniable truths in all fields of knowledge, and that everything about these fields of knowledge could be understood by studying combinations of these elemental truths. The method was an early attempt to use logical means to produce knowledge. Lull hoped to show that Christian doctrines could be obtained artificially from a fixed set of preliminary ideas. For example, the most essential table listed the attributes of God, goodness, greatness, eternity, power, wisdom, will, virtue, truth and glory. Lull knew that all believers in the monotheistic religions—whether Jews, Muslims or Christians—would agree with these attributes, giving him a firm platform from which to argue. The idea was developed further for more esoteric purposes by Giordano Bruno in the 16th century, and in the 17th century by the great rationalist. Gottfried Leibniz, who wrote his dissertation about Lull's art and integrated it into his Metaphysics and Philosophy of Science. Leibniz gave Lull's idea the name, Ars Combinatoria, by which it is now often known. Some computer scientists have adopted Lull as a sort of founding father, claiming that his system of logic was the beginning of information science. Other works Lull is known to have written at least 265 works, including The Book of the Lover and the Beloved Blankerna, a novel, 1283 Desconhort on the superiority of reason Larbor de Ciencia, Arbor Scientiae, Tree of Science, 1295 Tractatus Novus de Astronomia Ars Magna, the Great Art, 1305 or Ars Generalis Ultima, the Ultimate General Art Ars Brevis, the short art, an abbreviated version of the Ars Magna. Libra de Marivelles. Practica Compendiosa. Liber de Lumine, the Book of Light. Ars Infusa, the Inspired Art. Book of Propositions. Liber Chaos, the Book of Chaos. Book of the Seven Planets. Liber Proverbiorum, Book of Proverbs. Book on the Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit. Ars Electionis on voting. Artifidium Electionis Personarum on voting. Ars Notatoria. Introductoria Artis Demonstrativi. Book of the Gentile and the Three Wise Men. 
Libra qui es de l'ordre de cavalleria, the book of the order of chivalry written between 1279 and 1283. Topic: <laughs> Misattributions. A considerable body of work on esoteric subjects was misattributed to Lull in the Middle Ages and Renaissance. The oeuvre of the pseudo Lull and, by extension, that of the actual Lull was influential among Hermeticists, Gnostics, and other esoterics. Lull himself explicitly condemned many of the subjects, such as alchemy, that he is purported to have written about. Topic: <laughs> Reputation and posthumous reception. The Roman Catholic inquisitor Nicholas A. Murek condemned 100 theories or ideas of Lull as errors in 1376. Pope Gregory XI also formally condemned 20 of his books in 1376 and the condemnation was renewed by Pope Paul IV, although Pope Martin V reversed the condemnation of Pope Gregory XI in 1416. Despite these condemnations, Lull himself remained in good standing with the Church. Chairs for the propagation of the theories of Lull were established at the University of Barcelona and the University of Valencia. He is regarded as one of the most influential authors in Catalan. The language is sometimes referred to as la lengua de Lull, as other languages might be referred to as Shakespeare's language. English, la langue de Molière, French, la lengua de Cervantes, Spanish, or die Sprache Goethe's, German. The logo of the Spanish Consejo Superior de Investigaciones Científicas. Higher Council of Scientific Research", is Lull's Tree of Science. Ramon Lull University, a private university established in Barcelona in 1990, is named after the philosopher. Mathematics, statistics, and classification With the discovery in 2001 of his lost manuscripts, Ars Notandi, Ars Alexionis, and Alia Ars Alexionis, Lull is given credit for discovering the Borda count and Condorcet criterion, which Jean Charles de Borda and Nicolas de Condorcet independently proposed centuries later. The terms Lull winner and Lull loser are ideas in contemporary voting systems studies that are named in honor of Lull. Also, Lull is recognized as a pioneer of computation theory, especially due to his great influence on Gottfried Leibniz. Lull's systems of organizing concepts using devices such as trees, ladders, and wheels, have been analyzed as classification systems. <laughs> Art and architecture The inspiration of Lull's mnemonic graphic cartwheels, reaching into contemporary art and culture, is demonstrated by Daniel Liebskin's architectural construction of the 2003 completed Studio Weil in Port Dandratex, Majorca. Studio Weil, a development of the virtuality of these mnemonic wheels which ever center and decenter the universal and the personal, is built to open these circular islands which float like all artwork in the oceans of memory. Topic. Modern fiction Paul Auster refers to Lull as Raymond Lull in his memoir The Invention of Solitude in the Second Part, The Book of Memory. Lull, now going under the name Cole Hollings and revealed to be immortal, is a major character in The Box of Delights, the celebrated children's novel by poet John Maysfield. He is also a major influence on the fictional character Zermano in Thomas Salazar's The Day of the Bees, and his name, philosophies, and quotes from his writings appear throughout the novel. In Roberto Bolaño's novel 2666, Amalfitano, a Chilean professor, thinks about Ramon Lull and his fantastic machine. Fantastic in its uselessness. Adon, Leopoldo Maréchal's protagonist of the novel Adon Buenos Aires mentions Ramon Lulio when he walks past a curt ombra a leather tanning shop, he says, Ramon Lulio, que aconsejaba no rehuir del olor de las letrinas a fan de recordar a menudo lo que da el cuerpo de sí mismo en su tan frequentemente olvidada miseria. Edición Critica, Colección Archivos, 1997. Page 312. Ramon Lull advised not to shy away from the smell of outhouses, in order not to forget that which the body gives out in its often forgotten misery. In William Gaddis' first novel, The Recognitions, the final paragraph of Chapter 2 alludes to Raymond Lully, 
as a scholar, a poet, a missionary, a mystic, and one of the foremost figures in the history of alchemy. Lull is also mentioned in passing in Neil Gaiman's comic book Calliope, an issue of the DC, Vertigo series The Sandman. In The Commodore, the 17th book in Patrick O'Brien's Aubrey Maturin series, Stephen Maturin remarks that his daughter less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 will learn Spanish, too, Castellano. I am sorry it will not be Catalan, a much finer, older, purer, more mellifluous language, with far greater writers. Think of N. Ramon Lull. But as Captain Aubrey often says, you cannot both have a stitch in time and eat it. Harry Harrison, in Deathworld 2, has his protagonist, Jason Denault, use the Book of the Order of Chivalry, along with others, to disable the engines of the spaceship on which he is being held. As the ship starts to blow up, he remarks, I should not have thrown in the lull book, it is more than even the ship could stomach. This comes at the end of an argument with his kidnapper, in which Denault attacks the idea that there are universal laws which apply to all human beings for all time. W. B. Yeats refers to Lull twice in Rosa Alchemica, first published in 1897. I turned to my last purchase, a set of alchemical apparatus which, the dealer in the Rue La Pelletier had assured me, once belonged to Raymond Lully. And. There were the works of Lully, who transformed himself into the likeness of a red cock. His. First eight poems in The Green Helmet and other poems were published under the general title Raymond Lully and his wife Pernella, an erratum slip corrected this, an error by a slip of the pen when I was writing out the heading for the first group of poems, I put Raymond Lully's name in the room of the later alchemist, Nicholas Flamel. Gordon R. Dixon has the protagonist, Hal Maine, in the book The Final Encyclopedia, 1984 refer to Lull and his combination of Wheel's device, which Hal states as nothing less than a sort of primitive computer. Topic. Disposition toward Judaism Lull's mission to convert the Jews of Europe was zealous, his goal was to utterly relieve Christendom of any Jews or Jewish religious influence. Some scholars regard Lull's as the first comprehensive articulation, in the Christian West, of an expulsionist policy regarding Jews who refused conversion. To acquire converts, he worked for amicable public debate to foster an intellectual appreciation of a rational Christianity among the Jews of his time. His rabbinic opponents included Rabbi Shlomo ben Adarit of Barcelona and Moshe ben Shlomo of Salerno. Topic. Translations. Le Livre des Mille Proverbes 2008, ISBN 9782953191707, Editions de la Merci, Editions at Orange.fr Ramon Lull's New Rhetoric, Text and Translation of Lull's Rhetorica Nova, edited and translated by Mark D. Johnston, Davis, California, Hermagoras Press, 1994 Selected works of Ramon Lull 1232-1316, edited and translated by Anthony Bonner, Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press 1985, 2 volumes 31 plus 1330 pp. Contents, Volume 1, The Book of the Gentile and the Three Wise Men, pp. 93-305, A.R.'s Demonstrativa, pp. 317-567, A.R.'s Brevis, pp. 579-646, Volume 2, Felix, or The Book of Wonders, pp. 659-1107, Principles of Medicine pp. 1119-1215, Flowers of Love and Flowers of Intelligence, pp. 1223-1256, Dr. Illuminatus, a Ramon Lull reader, edited and translated by Anthony Bonner, with a new translation of The Book of the Lover and the Beloved by Eve Bonner, Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press 1994 Topic See also Apologetics Catalan Literature List of Pioneers in Computer Science Volvel Topic References Topic Citations Topic Sources Lola Badia, Joan Santanic and Albert Soler, Ramon Lull as a Vernacular Writer, London, Temesis, 2016. William Theodore Aquila Barber, Raymond Lull, The Illuminated Doctor, A Study in Medieval Missions, London, C.H. Kelly, 1903. Anthony Bonner, ed., Dr. Illuminatus. 
A Ramon Lowell Reader, Princeton University 1985, includes The Book of the Gentile and the Three Wise Men, The Book of the Lover and the Beloved, The Book of the Beasts, and A.R.'s Brevis, as well as Bonner's Historical Background and Life at 1 to 44, Lowell's Thought at 45 to 56, Lowell's Influence, The History of Lullism at 57 to 71. Anthony Bonner, The Art and Logic of Ramon Lull, A User's Guide, Leiden, Brill, 2007. Alexander Fedora and Josep E. Rubio, Raymundus Lullis, An Introduction to His Life, Works and Thought, Turnhout, Breppels, 2008. Martin Gardner has written extensively about Lull. His analyses can be found in Logic Machines and Diagrams and Science, Good, Bad and Bogus. J. N. Hilgarth, Ramon Lull and Lullism in Fourteenth-Century France Oxford University 1971. Mark D. Johnston, The Spiritual Logic of Ramon Lull, Oxford, Clarendon Press, 1987. Antonio Monserrat Quintana, La Vision Lulliana del Mundo Derecho Palma de Mallorca, Institut d'Estudis Balearics 1987. Pereira Michaela, The Alchemical Corpus Attributed to Raymond Lull, London, The Warburg Institute, 1989. Lorenzo Riber, Raimundo Lulio, Barcelona, Editorial Labor 1935, 1949. William Thomas Walsh, Characters of the Inquisition, Tan Books and Publishers, Inc. 1940. ISBN 0-89555-326-0 Francis Yates includes a brief chapter on Lull in The Occult Philosophy in the Elizabethan Age London, Arc Paperbacks 1979. Francis Yates, Lull and Bruno, 1982, in Collected Essays, Lull and Bruno, Volume 1, London, Routledge and Keegan Paul. Samuel Marinas Zwemer, Raymond Lull, First Missionary to the Moslems, New York and London, Funk and Wagnalls Co. 1902, reprinted by Diggory Press, 2006, ISBN 978 one 301 2 External links Works by Lull OL at the Open Library Works by Ramon Lull at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Ramon Lull at Internet Archive Priani, Ernesto. Ramon Lull. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Who was Ramon Lull? Center de Documentacio Ramon Lull, Universitat de Barcelona Samuel M. Zwemer Raymond Lull, First Missionary to the Muslims Othmer M. S. 4 Ars Brevis, A. Ars Abbreviata Predicanda at Open Ramon Lull at the AELC Association of Writers in Catalan Language. Webpage in Catalan, English and Spanish. Ramon Lull in Yatra, Catalan Literature Online Open University of Catalonia in English in Spanish in Catalan Ramon Lull Database, University of Barcelona Catholic Encyclopedia Article of 1911 Blessed Raymond Lull Estiv Jayulant, The Theory of Knowledge and the Unity of Man According to Ramon Lull Online Galleries, History of Science Collections, University of Oklahoma Libraries High Resolution Portrait of Ramon Lull in .jpg and .tiff format. O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Ramon Lull. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Selected images from Practica Compendiosa from the College of Physicians of Philadelphia Digital Library.